Arizona State, and T.J. Nichols fires strike one. There's the motion from Nichols. And there is a line drive shallow center, and it falls in front of Mac Bingham. And a leadoff base hit to start the ball game for Arizona State. And Nichols the pitch. And there's a ball served out to right center. A dive. Tanner Otremba can't hang on to it. Around second, Lampy to third. And hustling into second base. That's a double for McLean. And the Sun Devils are in business right off the bat. Runs for Ryan Campos. And there's a chopper over the mound that goes on through into center. That'll score two. Well, tough start here for Nichols already. This ball's not hit particularly hard, but he's just playing the game. You know, Rox, he's just trying, he's trying to hit something up the middle, pull it, scores the runner and moves him over to third base, and he uses that rock-hard home plate to get it up over. And on the hands, a bouncer to third, charging it is Tony Bullard. Rifles it to first, taken off for third, and Campos is dead to rights, runs into McClary. Heads up defensively for Arizona in a risky play, trying to go to third by Campos. Well, so in yesterday's game, I saw something I never thought I would see. Well, you probably don't want to see that because you're getting him on there. But your right fielder, Tanner Otremba, took a shot off the wall in the field. A hard time. And they're going to go hit and run there. Susak's yeah. throw gets away from Nick McClary. Or rather, from the second baseman, Caulfield yeah. McClary goes to yeah, chase it down. Uh, they, they've been trying to do a little more of that. Two. Nothing wrong with that, by the way. Just missed, and Campos draws a two-on-one. Right. Hit on the ground to short. Nick McClary gobbles it up. On to first, side retired. Time, head coach of all that, a big program. Lots of different hats, right? Uh, there's a lot to learn. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm an advantage, but, um, you know, we aren't playing at our home, our home stadium. We are, uh, we're playing at a way park like everybody else, and, um, Two on, the one strike pitch, and Susak the other way to right, going back is Murphy. At the warning track, looks up, opposite field, home run. 3-2 Arizona. You mentioned, Kevin, he's a big moment hitter, and he just had his moment. Man, I, I, there's just something about certain guys that, you, you, that are really good in moments, or with guys on base, whatever it might be. He's one of those guys, and, and we saw it in, in just the replays we were watching. You saw it again here, except here's the difference. This one, he went the other way. That's that's the power. The scouts are all here. They're going to see that and be like, okay. Now we see him go the other way. Is the pitch up? It's up, and it's away, and that's just that's damaging with him. Look at the side swing. Gets to the front side. Excellent. And Tanner Otremba in the air. Murphy looking up again, back to back, opposite field jacks. Tanner Otremba's pumped up around the bases. 4-2 Arizona. Look at him, he's going nuts at the dugout. This is a, almost exactly where he hit it yesterday. After he takes a shot to the face yesterday, another high fastball, ball's carrying. It's only 3.30 down the line that way. Mm. So mound visit now for Arizona State. The Tanner Otremba. He's really got to learn to let his emotions out a little bit more. <laughs> right? I mean, he's so reserved. Oh, my gosh. He holds it in. <laughs> Stoic. Uh, really hard to read his expressions, I tell you. So back to back, the Wildcats go oppo. First started with one out and nobody on. Fisted. Back up the middle. And it trickles out into center. And the fifth straight Wildcat batter to reach here against Tulloch, who breathes through the first two, but the second trip through the lineup has been a little different. 3 2 to Bullard. Runner goes, and Bullard on the ground, past third base, over toward the line. Will Rogers cuts it off. The third goes Chase Davis, and pulling into second base, a double. Some dancing from Tony Bullard. Ball driven to left, back is Rogers. Plenty of room, makes the catch, tagging at third. Here comes Chase Davis. 
And Tony Bullard stays at second base. Sack fly for Caulfield. A five run bottom of the third now for U of A. Few and far between. Strike three called. Noah Turley caught looking. Road on the Arizona State campus is Connor Davis in the air, shallow left center, and the falls in the Bermuda Triangle out there. Nobody could get it. And a single to start the fourth for ASU, and Davis is on. Everywhere with the D train. There's a ground at a second base. Busy inning for Garrett Caulfield. They really like what's happening on the mound with it. Down the line, fair ball. Joe Lampy could get extra bases out of this. Tanner Otremba slides to cut it off. And Lampy cruises into second base, a one-out double. And Lampy's 21st double on the season. There is a grounder past the mound. And bobbled it short by McClary. Lampy doesn't stop. He scores from second base. 5-3 Wildcats. And an error brings in a run for Arizona State. All right, taking advantage of some mistakes here. It's one thing to miss this ball here. Clary runs over the top of it. I think that's what Clary. Yeah, just misses it, and then they just kind of forget, oh, we got a runner. They issue at this point. At least they're putting the ball in play. It's not about strikeouts. It's in that little area. Yeah, I know nothing either, and I don't plan no. on finding out and having intimate knowledge of scorpions. <laughs> this part, you didn't get that in the packet before we came down? No, it was not in our distribution. Liner the other way, and Baez a sharp single. Tanner Otremba comes up firing. McClain trying to score and throws offline. One run game. Two out, RBI single for Nate Baez. Good aggressive base running here by McLean. I love that the third base coach sent him to. I wasn't sure this ball was ripped. Better throw. We've seen this a couple of times. It's so quick. The better throws, I think, going to get him here. It just goes up the other side. ASU, I just love it. The fact, I think this is this is rivalry baseball right here. These guys are not going to quit. 12 tournament. Both throw to first. Gets away from Turley. Nate Baez takes off for second. He'll think about three. The throw offline and going around the third on an errant pickoff throw. And Nate Baez is 90 feet away from tying this game. The pitch to Connor Davis. Swinging a ground ball to short. Nick McClary, field, straightens onto first. Side retired, but up. Here's my clarifier. I don't care who wins. I don't. I just want to see a good baseball game. Right now, everybody on that home is single to center by Caulfield. They're watching us going, you hate my team. You always root against Arizona State. Denning, I was working with the legendary, the late Jerry Kimball, calling the game is now there's two on for the Wildcats and nobody out here in the bottom of the sixth is Levine. All right, yeah, it was fine. Ground ball to second, could be two. Cool. Baez, the turn by McClain, double play. Blake Paw hit it squarely, but a tailor-made double play ball. To third goes Garrett Caulfield, two away. Two balls and a strike on Bingham. There's a bouncer to short. Sean McClain guns it to first. Nice job by Will Levine to get out of it. 12 teams def definitely will be hosting. High chop gets over the third baseman, Buller to left. Lampy racing for second. Chase Davis comes up throwing. Diving into second, a three hit game in the second double. And Joe Lampy has the tying run at second base for Arizona State. Breaking ball, and McLean got hit. Fighting himself on that breaking ball. He was having a tough time. The computer rankings, they're all over the place. Liner past the diving. Caulfield in the right center. Lampy is in. Racing around the bases, Sean McLean. He will score, and Arizona State goes on top. Two-run double. Ryan Campos puts ASU in front. This is a great example of how the field can get you if you are Arizona. This ball gets by, and you see here where the, there's a huge gap, and it rolls almost all the way to the warning track. A lot of times as the infielder, and this is, this is on Chip and his staff, they've got to notice sometimes if they move the infielder too far in one direction with this fast field, 
a line drive or even hard ground balls can get that deep. I'm looking at it right no, here. No, I mean, I know what they're saying. Grounded to third. Tony Bullard across to first, side retire, but Arizona State takes the lead. After four each of the first two days and a leadoff walk, and the Wildcats have a start here in the last of the year. And there's ball four, and there's two on for Arizona. Back to back walks to start the bottom of the eighth. They're intentionally putting Noah Turley aboard. Base is loaded. Liner to center, hit right at Lampy. Back it up. Hits over his head. Goes all the way to the wall. That'll clear the bases. Matt Bingham digging for third. Three run triple over the head of Joe Lampy. Oh, man, the, the ball is ripped, absolutely ripped. Lampy just comes in. I mean, it's a mistake by him to come flying in, and the ball gets past him. That's the carry that we've been seeing the last couple of days. I tell you, he's, he is literally on an island by himself out there right now. No worse feeling than the Wildcats. Crowded ashore. Handled by McLean. Low throw, nice dig by Connor Davis at first. Side retained. Bouncer the other way, knocked down by Bullard, and Campos at infield hit is on, and the tying run coming to the plate for the Sun Devils. Ground ball to short, Nick McClary gobbles it up. Pros to first ball game, and Arizona will hang around and play Stanford tomorrow. The Wildcats rally with three in the bottom of the eighth. <laughs>